Welcome to my channel, it's Nicole, and in this video I am setting up my Passion Planner Daily for the week of Monday, August 8th through Friday, August 12th. As I mentioned, this is my Passion Planner Daily, but I use this as my weekly planner for work. And so what I am doing is I am about to separate the right side of the page into five sections to represent the five days of my work week, which is Monday through Friday. And I'm actually using stickers from the School Life Kit from Planner Kate. It is item number MK443, I believe. And so I decided to use this kit because in my area, it is the first week of school and I have school age nieces and nephews and I have educators in my family. And I just thought this would be a great way to celebrate them, recognize them, honor them in terms of just representing them in my planner. And not only in this planner, but also in my weekly personal planner and my A5 notebook. And so that is why even when you look at the sticker sheets, there are some stickers missing because this is actually the last setup that I did. So I'm actually going in reverse order. So I'm starting with the planner that I did the last. And then in the next video, you'll see me set up the Erin Condren Focus Teacher Lesson Planner. And then I also have some footage from when I was sitting down and I was pulling together my master checklist, which I do that in my Erin Condren A5 notebook. So anyways, that's a whole nother video. <laughs> but in this video, this is my weekly for work and I am using my leftover stickers. So I got three sheets. I got um, sheets A, B, C, and that's it, right, A, B, and C, um, which are the full boxes, washi, and the weekly sampler. And I was able to use those three sheets in three of my planners. Well, I only have three planners at the moment, but um, I was able to use those three sheets for each of the planners. And I didn't run out, which I thought was really cool because this is my first time using a Planner Kate kit. I just recently, I knew about Planner Kate, but I hadn't purchased any of her stickers and I recently did. And so I was like, what all do I need? And so I decided upon just getting three sheets and I was like, let's see how this works out for me. And it worked out really well. I was really excited that I was able to use practically all the stickers across really two planners because... My notebook, I only used like two strips of washi in there. I didn't do a lot of decoration in my A5 this week, but I was still able to use some washi strips in that. And so either way, I still had more. When I get to the end of this video, you'll see that I still had additional stickers that I could use. So for me, the three sheets went a long way and it just really, really worked for me. On screen, I am just putting down some washi at the bottom of the page. I'm doing this on both sides. And the washi that you see on the right hand side, the um, shorter pieces of washi that came from scraps that I still had left over from when I did my Erin Condren Focus Teacher Lesson Planner, my weekly planner. <laughs> Let me just say my personal weekly planner. Let me say it like that.
now putting down date headers and these stickers are from the recollections collection from Michaels and so that is one great thing about just having that type of those types of stickers in your stash like headers and numbers like they're so universal and so I'm so happy that I have them Right here, you see me using my tea ruler, which I so need a new one, but um, I'm using my tea ruler to draw some lines in the area where there are the times. And so what I do with this is that I separate it into five sections and it's Monday through Friday. And then this is where I track my meetings. And so now I'm just using some full box stickers to finish out the bottom left hand corner of the spread using some thin washi just to fill in some spaces. I'll add two more full boxes here and then I will add two full boxes and a sticker from the Happy Planner above the washi.
I have a dot marker and I use it to indicate when a meeting starts. So I generally do not do this during my setup, but I wanted to show that to you in this video so you can get a visual for what that section looks like. When I start cleaning up my desk, that means this video is a wrap. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, on screen you will see another video or two that you might enjoy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and press that notification bell so that you are notified of when I have new content on YouTube. Again, thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you in the next one.